Hey golf fans, this is Early1981 and welcome back to PGA Tour 2K21 Next Gen Gameplay Live here on the channel. Today we are checking out Aurora Borealis Norway from the very talented Walneski. In my opinion guys, this is the best fantasy course, if not one of the best in the game. Let me know your thoughts after the round, but let's check out the course settings. As always, we're leaving everything at default. Fairways are normal, greens are firm and fast. Time of day is afternoon and the weather is overcast. As always, we will be playing on pin set number one. Let's check out the tee options. We do have four tee options. We're going to be swinging from the blue tees, which are playing 7,598 yards. White tees are the same yardage. But like I say, guys, I've played this course once before on the PlayStation 5 a couple of weeks ago, and I've played it multiple times on the PlayStation 4, and I'm really looking forward to bringing this course to you guys' attention. First hole. So, hole yeah, number one, par four, tight fairway here, but look at that for an opening hole, unbelievable. Well, Neski's used uh, a lot of nature to create the beauty and the hazards here. Very low winds, it's only a three mile per hour wind speed here, so I'm just going to turn this against the wind from left to right slightly and try and find the centre off this fairway. We execute the perfect off the tee box and we've shaped that to perfection. Hopefully we do hold the fairway. Conditions are fairly firm and fast around this course on the default settings. That's left us 137 yards in. I'm just going to apply full backspin almost to this 9 iron which is going to take us 133 yards. 137 to the pin. Anything left of the the flag stick should work its way back towards the pin. It's another great strike. Needs to get down though, and hopefully that sits to perfection for us. But that ball took a massive bounce and it's really ran out a lot more than I expected it to. Green speeds are 181, so they're slick, but we've got a 16 foot putt. Not a lot of movement in this, just going about a cup and a half outside the hole. Should turn back. Oh, it didn't turn. Had the weight, just didn't have the read. And we will be tapping that in for an opening par on hole number one. But Walneski has got such a great course portfolio, guys. But in my opinion, this is the best fantasy course in the game to date. That's just my opinion, remember. I'm sure a lot of you will disagree. Some of you may agree. It's another tight fairway. Just try to avoid this bunker, but we've had a tiny fast. And look how much left that ball goes now. On the master difficulty setting. If anything off perfect, you are going to be in a bit of bother here. But we can surely get out of this bunker. Huge pot bunker, by the way. This green's like a fishbowl, so just try to get this up and over the bunker, landing on the green, and let the contours of the green do the rest. It's another good strike. We are hitting the ball really well so far. Is that going to sit down? No, we did apply a good amount of backspin. It has checked up beautifully. And we do have a look for birdie from six feet out. Six feet to the cup. This one is going to break from left to right. And that turns right into the heart of the cup and we do pick up our first birdie. I am fully warmed up. I just played my latest society round. I played really well from tee to green, just could not make a putt. I think I finished at 11 or 12 under par. So hole number three, check this out by the way guys. Absolutely fantastic bridge. And like I've said before, Walneski must be one of the most creative designers out there. But this is a long par 5. Very tight fairway once again, but just going to try and take this down the left hand side of this bunker. 4 mile per hour wind is going to help us out. Once again a tiny fast, but hopefully we've got enough fairway to work with on this left hand side. I'm not sure if we'll be able to reach the green in 2. It is a tight green here. And it is defended well. Oh, I think at worst we may land in the bunker here. Let's take it on, guys. Drive it off the deck, see if we can get it up and across. Oh, we've hit a red slope. That's definitely heading into the bunker. Hopefully we avoid this rock. Oh, we just trickle out and passed it. And that is going to leave us a tricky splash shot. Maybe even a flop 45 yards out. 
I love how these greens are up on retaining walls. It takes a lot of talent and patience to do that. Let's try and flop this up towards the pin. It's going full off, full backspin with a pitching wedge. And hopefully this does check up. Should generate a good bit of spin here if we execute it well. Slight fast. Has it got the legs to go though? No. That is going to be a tricky putt from 14 feet. It's actually not as bad as I expected. Certainly going to turn from right to left. Should start to turn now. Oh, it just breezes by the right-hand side edge of the cup. And that means we are going to be walking away with a disappointing par. I hate patterning par fives, guys, as I'm sure most of you know. But listen, guys, I cannot thank you all enough for the continued support on the channel. It is really, really appreciated. And we do move on to the fourth hole at one under par. Large fairway here. We should have enough yardage to carry these bunkers. Tiny if it slows. That may work in our favour. I just hope we don't run out too far here and work our way into that furthest off bunker. No, we're going to avoid that. So good tee shot. So that's going to leave us a wedge into the green. 106 yards. Our sand wedge should be made for that. 103 yards. We do have the safety net that if we are long here, we've got a backstop. But I'm just going to try and land this as close to the pin as possible. And hopefully it does check up. Tiny slow. That really shouldn't affect us too much, though. This should bounce and then check. Get in the hole. Oh, wow. We almost hold that out from 100 and six yards and with that we do tap that in for birdie number two but this course truly is a masterpiece guys and i use that term loosely there's very few courses that i would uh earmark as a masterpiece but this is certainly one of them but this is a tricky par three three hybrid should be good for this with that five mile per hour wind behind us we do get the perfect this should bounce on the fairway and hopefully up. Oh, it's long. I really expected that to, to land on the fairway, then kick up. And with that, we have actually ran past that backstop. That do so we do have a nasty downhill putt from 32 feet, breaking putt. both ways here. I'm just going to play this right at the hole, and hopefully the brakes counteract each other. Should start to check up. That was a poor putt. Really under hits it. Never had the read. And we've got a six foot putt for par here. Which we do convert. And we will remain at two under. But that's what my putting was like in my society round earlier. Just not feeling it on the greens just now. Hole number six. Drivable par four depending on which driver you're using. And obviously the wind conditions. I'm just going to fully loft this up. We are going to turn it from left to right just to lose a little bit of distance here. But look at that mountainous background. Oh, we've played this well. Needs to get down, though. Needs to get down. It's still going to be firm. It's going to shoot through this green. But hopefully we can get up and down with a splash shot here. Actually, chip is going to be good. It's not too much of a, a punishing lie here. We'll use the gap wedge. See if we can use the, the contours of the green to turn this into the cup. Ah, oh, it's going to be way left. Yardage is going to be good, but way left of the hole there. So we are left with a seven foot putt for birdie. A little bit of movement right to left. It's a good weight, good read. And we do pick up our third birdie of the round. And there is two par fives remaining on this front nine. Hole number seven we go. is one of these par fives. I'm just going to try and cut this corner here as much as possible. But just look at the views out with the course, guys. It really is fantastic. Such a creative masterpiece, this course. So I think we can just take on this bunker here and with the perfect. Oh, that should be good. Tiny fast. We should comfortably kick out of the rough here. Come on, kick out. Kick out, kick out. We just kick out. Fast took us a little bit more left than I intended. But it's worked out well. And it's going to be another long shot 
into this tiny green. I think we'll just go with three wood. Driver's really not going to carry us much further than the three wood. Good execution. And we should be looking at nothing more than a, a splash or a flop, maybe even a pitch. I'm having that. Ball didn't run out as far as I expected, so it is going to be a pitch shot. We're 58 yards out. But look at this bunker here with the steps going down. Let's take a closer look. Wow, how creative is that? The brickwork in the bunker. That must have taken ages, guys. Like I say, such a talent. The designer takes his time in courses and really does create fantastic courses for us guys to go and enjoy and play. So lob wedge pitch. We get the perfect. Oh, that's going to be short with the amount of backspin I've put on that. Oh, early. I am starting to execute um, pitch shots better. Fourth shot. But really didn't need the backspin. Really misjudged that. So let's see if we can chip this in. It's quite a tricky chip shot actually due to the, the break on the green. It's got a chance, so no, it's going to turn, maybe come up a little bit short, which it does. And that is our second par 5 that we failed to birdie. Really disappointed with that, because we were 58 yards short of the green. Hole number 8, long par 4 here, playing 515 yards. Look at that little house to the right hand side. And we really are swinging well. Just my short game today, which is normally really, really good, has let me down on the odd occasion. Still a bit of work to do here in this long par four. This green. Oh, look at that. Now, these are wooden prisons, guys. Obviously, old-fashioned prisons, which are now bits of ruins. But fantastic attention to detail. So let's see if we can chase free hybrid up onto this green and give ourselves a birdie opportunity. Just fully lofting up this free hybrid. Need to get this landing as gently and as softly as possible. So try to generate a lot of height here. We do get a perfect. This surely lands just on the fairway. And it is going to kick up. Is it going to check up? That is a fantastic golf shot. I don't think we could have placed that any better. And we are going to be looking at an 11 foot putt for birdie. Disappointingly, not birdied any of the par fives yet. That should turn. There's a better putt. And we do pick up our fourth birdie off the round. And we move on to the final hole, the front nine, which is a par five. But look at this little water feature here. Very cool water feature there. Very unique. White. More prisons there, off in the distance. This is a wider fairway, but lots of fairway bunkers, which I think with that fast we could well be in. And that is not ideal on this long par 5. So we're certainly not going to be reaching the green in 2 here. I have really not played these par 5s well at all. So I'm just going to have to try and pitch this out. These pot bunkers are really punishing. You really want to avoid them at all costs. And we've now got a long shot across the water. 258 yards. So three wood should be made for this. Oh, that's a fast early. And with that, I think we're going to fail to hit the green altogether because that is going to kick left. Oh, no does kick left, but we are going to hit the green. It's going to be a monster putt. This could take you so we've got a 40 foot putt for birdie. Once again, prison in view, or one of the prisons. This is really going to swing from left to right. I think the weight's good, but I don't think we've got the read. It's just going to miss on the right hand yeah. side, but it doesn't. What a fantastic putt. And Where was that putt in on my my previous round. Absolutely delighted with that putt. It looked as if we were going to make another par on a par 5. But fantastic putt from 40 feet and we are rewarded with birdie number 5. 
right, ten pole now coming at Hole number ten. Par three playing a hundred and forty three yards. I think this nine iron is perfect. Just gonna try and apply a good bit of top spin here and find that slope and hopefully we can work our way down the slope towards the pin. It's a great strike. I don't think we needed the top spin, you know. Just going to run a little bit past the pin. It's actually ran off the green. It's left us with a chipping opportunity from five yards. Didn't need the extra run out there. But let's see if we can chip this one in. Or at the very least go close. It's got a chance. And we do chip it in for birdie number six. And we are starting to get a little bit of a hot streak going here. Three consecutive birdies in the last three holes. But honestly, guys, what a fantastic course. This is probably about the fifth or sixth time I've played this now on the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 combined. And uh, I just never tire of playing this course. It is visually stunning, but plays as good as it looks. For me, it is definitely the best fantasy course that I have played on this game to date. There is a red fast, and that is going to take us all the way to the left-hand side. And we do kick into the bunker. These bunkers are so, so punishing. I don't think we can go any more than three hybrids here. I need a good bit of loft. Just going to apply a good extra bit of loft to get it up and over this lip here. We do manage to chase it out of there with a the perfect. Don't tell me we're going bunker or bunker. We are. Oh, we've just checked up in the heavy rough. You really don't want to be wayward off the tee box here. And this is now going to be tough up and down for par. We're going to have to pitch this. I'm going to have to go with a sand wedge here. Applying full off, full backspin. And just try and get this as close to the flag stick as possible. I don't think it's going to come out here very well. We have put the fast on it, but with all that backspin, is it going to check? It does grudgingly slow up. We do have a par opportunity from 12 feet here. Not a lot of movement in this at all. Just need to get the weight in the line, which I think we've done. And that is going to drop in for a good par save. And with that, we do remain at 6 under par. So, hole number 12. Quite a short par 5, but look at the hazards here. But just love the views outside the course, guys. Really is visually stunning. I'm going to take this on because I'm swinging well. Just try to find the narrow left-hand side of this fairway. Taking bunkers out of play. Tiny fast, but that should not affect us at all. This should kick a little bit over to the right-hand side. Come on, check to the right. Yeah, there we go. And that is a fantastic tee shot. But loving like the, the single burnt-out trees that are scattered all over this course. Really nice look. But the lighting is superb. So three hybrid should be more than enough to reach this green. And two tiny fast. That's actually going to be long now. That actually may kick off the green here. That's how firm and fast this course is. It does. So we do have another chipping opportunity from 12 yards out. Not a lot of movement in this one to be honest. Just got to try and get the yardage and execute the perfect to keep it on a straight line. No, we did put a slow on it, and with that, that's going to come up short. But it's going to be a straightforward putt for birdie number seven, which we do convert. I am really enjoying playing this course again, guys. Like I say, it's been probably about two, three months since I've played it. It was one of the first courses I did play when I got the PlayStation 5. Just didn't up upload it onto the channel. But hole number 13, really long par four once again. So plenty of variation in this course. Oh, are we going to get a lucky kick off the cart path? Oh, we do. Why wow, couldn't make it up. Red fast there. Really taking us over to the left-hand side and obviously losing yardage. So it does mean we can reach this green in two. Five wood should be made for this shot. Just try to get it up and over the, the slope green. It's another slight fast, but it should have the yardage to get up to the top part of the green. And that is a really good shot, despite hitting a slight fast. And we are going to have a, 
A difficult putt for Birdie. 23 feet uphill. This is going to break hard from left to right. Just a lag putt here, really. Tell you what, though, if that's got the legs, it's in. Oh, yeah. wow, it just burns past the right edge. Almost another very good putt for Birdie. So we are going to remain seven at seven under par here on the 14th tee box. Short par four, but not going to be driving this one, I don't think. On second thoughts, I actually think we can comfortably drive this. Certainly don't want to find that pot bunkers that are defending this green. Bunkers up at the top part, just to the left of the green wouldn't be a problem. But just going to fully loft this up a good bit, see if we can chase this onto the green. It's never going to hold the green if we do land on it though. Wow. It's How another slight fast. Stuff, my friend. Tell you what, depending on where this kicks, oh no, it's going to be the big pot bunker at the back of the green. Oh no. That is such a tough tee shot there. Not the world's worst outcome though. Let's see if we can splash this close with a Sam Wedge. It should release forward after the initial bounce. That's a good out. And that is really... Go on, get in the hole. That is a fantastic bunker shot. And we are going to walk away with birdie number eight here. Man, you're making this fun to watch. That's your eighth birdie of the round. Some of these holes, guys are just unbelievable to play. There is a good challenge to this course, but like I say, it's one of those rare courses where it plays as good as it looks. I mean, just look at that. Clearly the, the Swiss theme with the, the mountains in the background. But like I say, for me, this is hands down the best fantasy course in the game. And this par 5, despite the yardage, we're going to reach this in 2 with a good kick off the fairway here. So drive it off the deck. Driver off the Tiny fast, area. but this should comfortably work its way down onto the green. Should kick right here. It does. It's just a matter of how far this is going to run out. Go on ball, keep going. We could well have an eagle opportunity here. That ball is still running and it's actually ran 331 yards with driver off the deck. Here's a putt for Eagle. So makeable putt for Eagle here is uphill. Just going outside right of the cup. I don't think I've hit that, you know. I haven't. I knew as soon as it left the putter face, I did not hit it firm enough. Great read to it. Disappointed not to pick up Eagle there, but we will take the second best prize of a birdie. And we do move to nine under par with three holes remaining. The par threes are superb, by the way. I love the variation in them. This is going to be nothing more. And a full sandwich. Applying full backspin. Nope. We're down 42 feet. Four mile per hour wind behind us. See if we can get the partial. Probably about a 98% power shot here. 97. This should be good then. Is it going to check up though? That is my only main concern. Is it going to bite? Oh, it does bite him. What a fantastic golf shot. We've really found our rhythm this back night. And we do pick up another birdie, which is birdie number 10. Sitting at 10 under now for the round. Really happy with how I'm swinging just now. We have had the odd red fast. Apart from that, nothing major. Hole number 17. Oh, I tell you what, this is inviting. I'm taking it on, guys. I ain't bailing out of this. It's going to be close. Oh, we get the perfect. Go. Go. It's going to be close. Need a kick off the rock. Oh, we get it. But there we go. Fortune. Um, favours the brave on another day that could have kicked back into the water but once again another view of some of these wooden prisons in the background let's see if we can splash this one close good execution should run out for us it does and we are going to walk away with another birdie birdie number 11 one hole to play but guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section, because for me, this is the best fantasy course in the game. Once again, it's going to be a tough par 3. Lots of variations here. I'm really in between clubs. I'm just going to try and turn this from right to left. Try and lose a bit of yardage here. 
really in between clubs. Try to take off about 10 yards here. That's a fast. It is going to be left and probably long. Is it going to hold the green? Gias runs into the, the fairway. And let's see if we can secure the up and down for the par here. But such an enjoyable round of golf here, guys, this course. I would have liked the win to be a little bit more testing, but... It's just the, the luck of what you get on the day with the, the default settings. But we are going to tap this in for a par. And what a fantastic round of golf, guys, at an amazing course. That is a 62 11 under. But that is it for today's video, guys. I really hope you did enjoy this. If you did, please leave a like if you are new to the channel. Hit the subscribe button. Go and play this course if you haven't already done so. And until the next round, take care, peace out, and love you all. Bye.